All right, so this is a proof of concept of something I'm working on for OS 7, um, and it's called a mini game. So uh, it is what it sounds like. So essentially, um, while I'm working with Frederick on a bunch of new features, and there's a lot of new font capabilities, a lot of new style capabilities, a ton of new interactive stuff coming, um, but I got the idea to actually take all these capabilities, group them together, and turn the style itself into a game. So you can actually play it on your saber. Now, this is a normal blade style. There's a layer that runs the mini game, um, and that mini game can be built any way we want. So we can change the controls, the scoring, the win, loss, um, all the sounds that happen, and the steps in it. Um, and that's all style code. Um, and so it's a little more complex, but it's essentially we're going to be able to build anything we want into this. Um, but this one specifically is built off of the New Hope um, scene where Luke has the the helmet on with the blast shield down and you got the training remote flying around and at first he's trying to block it and he doesn't know how and then eventually he connects with the force and he blocks it. Um, so this game is set up simply um, but it actually has a lot going on in it. So the goal of the game is going to be to get three successful blaster blocks before you get three strikes. How, you do, how this is determined is there's actually a bunch of sounds and all the timings are built into the style itself. So um, when you go into the game there's going to be a, a starting dialogue between Luke and, and Obi-Wan, but then you're listening for the hissing sound. So there's a hissing sound of the remote moving from the film. Um, after that happens, uh, shortly thereafter, and it is randomized, so the sound itself of it moving, the hisses, there's going to be long and short ones, there's, uh, uh, there's one with a double move, there's a bunch of different hissing sounds. That's just to get you ready. Right after that, there's a blast sound, and the blast sound is different from the hissing sound. You're learning to differentiate the blast sound. As soon as that blast sound happens, you have to react immediately with a very quick movement of your blade to deflect it. If you swing too soon, if you swing too late, or you don't swing quickly enough, it will be considered a miss. When you miss, the blade will go red, deter showing you that you missed it, and then there's a uh, Obi-Wan quote to let you know, you know to try again. Um, to stretch out with your feelings, etc. And that's just letting, giving you time to reset. Now, if you do successfully move within the time you have to, and you move quickly enough, you'll get a normal blaster block on the blade, normal blast sound, but then it'll immediately jump for the second blast. So being successful actually makes the game a little harder, and it makes it, to me, it's a challenge. So I've done several of these attempts, and I, I've only won it twice out of numerous times. Um, and it, it's purposefully hard. Um, we can make it easier, we can extend the timings technically, but I like it being challenging because there is actually a prize in it. So this game is set up so that if you're successful in, your, uh, in the mini game, you actually unlock a new blade style. So this is a very basic blue with a subtle rotoscope. I have a kind of blue silver style with a, a hyper responsive rotoscope built in. And that is only accessible if you complete the mini games successfully. Um, so um, I'm going to let you hear the sounds up close. So there is a difference in the sounds. There's a hissing sound, which is the remote moving. That's not what you're reacting to. You're reacting to the blast sound, which is a quick blast sound. If you don't react quickly enough, the blade will go red. So the first time around, I'm going to purposely fail. Second time around, I still might fail because it is challenging. Um, but let me get closer so you can hear it. So we'll go into the game. This goes into the game using force effect, but that's everything's editable. Um, how the game works, how you trigger it, what happens during it, all of it will be, you know, it's just style code. You'll be able to change it up. Um, but so I'll let it run once with a failure so you can see what's happening and hear what's happening. So you're going to hear Obi-Wan and Luke. Then you'll hear the remote start and you'll hear the movement. So it's the hiss. And then, at some point after the hiss, there's a blast sound. It is different. In person, you're going to learn to differentiate that sound. That's when you have to react, and you have to react quickly in order to be successful. And it's, so it's basically a, a reaction game. You have to increase your reaction time to that sound in order to win. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. So that second Remember, sound, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. And now it's going to go right away into the next movement, and I failed. Stretch out with the off. I'm going to try to time this one. All right, I caught that one. Two, two to two. I failed. I suggest you try it again, Luke. This time, let go your conscious self and act on instinct. 
So, and then the blade goes normal. So you basically you hit your third strike, you're out, but you can do it as many times as you want. Um, so giving away two strikes, and, and this is challenging already, so I'm going to try to get this now. I'm going to give it three or four tries because it, it, it takes a second for you to get used to that quick movement. I also have a limited space here because you do have to move quickly, so I don't want to hit anything. So I'm also kind of causing myself to fail. Um, and I don't want to make it easier. I want this to be a challenge. So here we go. The new style is unlocked, and it's a close, it's a slow fade, but this uh, in person it's more noticeable. It goes to a brighter blue, and it's actually a more active rotoscope. It can be whatever style you want. That's the the great thing about it is the game itself exists in a layer that you would add, and then the prize actually is a separate layer that you can put wherever you want. You don't need a prize if you want, um, but I set it up so you unlock uh, your force potential and you get a new blade style. Um, and this is just a small example. Um, so. We're going to be able to build really complex games if you wanted to, with more steps, with more things. You can have losses. Um, it's all basically in the style code. Um, and again, the, the, the point I want to really impress is this is actually a side effect. So I'm working with Frederick on a bunch of other stuff to really make the fonts and styles just work in synergy even better. There's going to be a bunch of new font capabilities coming. Now, obviously, with those, if you want to use them, you will make some changes to your font. This font was specifically set up. Um, so it is a, a font from Kyber Phonics that I had, um, but then Jesse provided me with some individual sounds, and I had to set those up individually. I also had to make some changes, um, and that'll be all in the documentation, because the sounds have to be lined up to what the style expects so that it can run the game. Um, but then the game just runs whenever you want it, So and you can do it as many times as you want. As I said, unlocking is only active while the preset is active. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, I keep my unlocked blade. Um, but if I change presets, I would lose that unlock, and I'd have to do the game again. Um, now, you can also do the game multiple times. However, if you do the game again and lose, you're going to lose the unlock. So the only way to keep the unlock is to win the game. If you, so I'll do it again just so you can see, and uh, I'll let the sounds play. Um, so there's, there's multiple sounds in here. So what you're actually hearing is the dialogue sounds um, of Obi-Wan and uh, in the beginning, the kickoff, the hissing sound is the movement of the uh, remote which you're listening for. So the whole thing of sound based is as if you had the uh, blast shield down so you couldn't see it. So the remote is imaginary, I can't see it, I have to react to the sounds. Um, and the blast sound, so you get hissing, movement, and then it'll blast, that's when you react. And then if you miss, it, you'll notice there's actually a grunt, that's Luke grunting. When the blade goes red, that's a sound that Jesse provided as well. Um, and then if you are successful, it's just a normal blast effect. Um, but so I'm going to bring it closer again so you can hear um, the different sounds. And there is a differentiation between the hisses and the blast, and that's the game, is learning to react to the blast and not the hiss. Particularly since it's randomly choosing the sounds, there's no pattern, and a few of the sounds have two movements in them, um, so it kind of tricks you. If you swing too early, you actually fail also, so you can't cheat it either. It actually, you have to respond with a quick movement, during the period of time that the blast sound plays, which is part of that style, which is what makes it a game. Um, and it's fully interactive, but you can do it as often as you like. So I'm going to fail and get the blade back to regular blue, but I'll let you listen to all the sounds without me talking over them. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. <coughs> Remember, a Jedi can feel the force flowing through him. with your feelings. I suggest you try it again, Luke. This time, let go of your conscious self and act on instinct. So I failed, and now the blade is back to that very subtle, darker blue uh, blade. So in order to unlock that, 
uh, other style, I would have to do the game again. Um, but so that's part of the fun of it. Now, um, there's a lot of development going on, and like I said, this actually turned out, this is actually a side project that I started playing with. Um, I had had the idea for a little while, but as we've been working on the different pieces for OS 7, it kind of all came together. So this is using a lot of new capabilities mixed with some of the OS 6 stuff. Um, but the biggest thing is the interactive capabilities, some of the new font capabilities, and then uh, being able to group them all together as a game, um, where you're actually, essentially you're chaining events together within the style to create a game. And you can chain as many events as you want, you can change up how they work, um, you can change what the responses are. So right now the response to get a point is a very quick swing within a very specific time window. All of that's going to be based on different functions, different styles, different transitions. Um, and we could do a ton of different stuff. So this is kind of just like a little bit of a show off of all the capabilities, but it's actually a really small piece of what's coming. So there's so much more in development. There's so much more that we have planned um, that uh, what OS 7 is going to do for styles and fonts and everything is going to you know, blow everybody's mind. But this is really cool. I I'm really psyched I got it working. Um, it, it was a, a long time to develop. Uh, thanks to Jesse for giving me the sounds I was missing. Um, like I said, I did also have to do some additional edits to the font to make it all work perfectly, um, but that'll all be in the documentation. Um, but so this is just a tiny, tiny little bit of what we're going to be able to do with OS 7. And the idea of the mini game, it's not just this single thing. You can, it's really whatever your imagination comes up with. Um, anything that the saber can detect, any uh, style or transition or function that uh, exists, you can group them together in ways to create different mini games that do different things, that have different goals, that have different prizes, etc. Um, scoring all that. So, um, again, this is proof of concept. Um, I've built this in my version. Um, I'm sure it'll go through some iterations as we get the code cleaned up. There's also a few pieces still in the works for OS 7 that don't exist yet um, that might actually make some of this stuff a little simpler to implement. Um, but so, in terms of what I wanted to be able to do, works perfectly. Um, it's actually kind of, it is challenging on purpose. I, I, I've had to shoot a number of these videos just to get successful because I made it challenging for a reason, so it's not easy to win. Um, that would be adjustable, but, you know, what's the point of having something that you learn from if it's too easy? Uh, but so, tons of stuff coming, so much in development, and this is, to me, this is really cool, but this is, again, small, small piece of what we're going to be able to do. So, uh, lots more coming, so I hope you enjoy and stay tuned.